Hello and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and your current Yugian energy going on. I'm Alden, the Twin Flame Psychic, and make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and um, you'll get notified and uh, you'll have liked the video, and that's always nice. So yeah, today for you I have chakra cards, they're the chakra reading cards by Rochelle Charman, and I also have a crystal, an internal crystals card for the union energy. So whether you're the DM or the DF, the Divine Masculine or the Divine Feminine, in case you don't know the DM, DF, you know, what do you call that? The letters for the words? Um, acronym? Anyways, yeah, so um you, either way like whichever you are you can hold space you know for your divine masculine if you're the divine feminine and vice versa and um sometimes that can be a really nice thing to do to help you harmonize your union because um it's important to hold loving space but it's also important to love yourself first and acknowledge how you're truly feeling and if you don't feel loving towards your twin flame it's important to work through that and I can help you with that if you would like to check out the links below. You can easily book an intro discovery session with me. Uh, it's super affordable and like if you really are like, oh, I've, you know, like if you want to just like hang out and watch um, readings and get information, that is going to help you. But if you actually want to clear the blocks, then um, you want to take that next step and you want to invest in your journey. That's uh, what's going to really build that momentum. And then there's the deeper work, Jeff and Shalia's work, my spiritual teachers. So the process can be so easy. It doesn't, you don't need to like do it yourself. That doesn't really work. Um, for anyone and you're not uh, special I'm not special um, you know we all need to drink water right well we all need to learn how to properly do the spiritual work required to harmonize your union it's not anything special but uh, it um, it doesn't take away from your uniqueness and the beauty of your union with your twin flame being a special thing, right? So um, let's uh, let's reveal the Divine Masculine's card. And uh, the Divine Masculine's card is Mother Earth. So the Divine Masculine is focusing on grounding right now. And also uh, like, if you are the Divine Masculine watching this, you can see how this pertains to you. Like, it's a message to oftentimes either go outside, spend some time in nature, but nature. But the underlying um, message is really just like grounding, you know, really going to your base chakra and claiming um, Earth as your home. And that helps you to like get in touch and move towards your desire of creating heaven on Earth. And recognizing that this ascension process that you're choosing in, you know, recognizing your desire for your twin flame and that that is, you could say, a holy desire, um, is a process of not ascending off of the planet, but, uh, you know, claiming the planet and raising the vibration with the planet and of the planet. Um, so you don't need to, like, you know release attachment to your desires, but you do still surrender completely in the process and you do have a non-attached state um, because attaching, you know, we all know attachment doesn't actually feel good to things, to specific outcomes. Um, but at the same time, if you honestly do the work, the this outcome you will receive is harmonious twin flame union. And so, like, there's also just, you know, givens in life, and this is actually given to you, but you do need to choose it. It's kind of like, you know, if you want good water, you have to either get a, usually a water purifier, um, or go to the store and buy the water. Maybe if you're lucky, you live, you know, in a really good well area, but that also requires something of you that you've you know, chosen to live in that place and 
all of that. And um, so there's just a clear process. And the process here is a little more clear than um, how you're gonna get the highest quality water. But I'm using it as an example because um, like even though it's a given that you need to drink water, that you need to love yourself, um, that there's just a process to it. And uh, like you don't need to overthink it basically, but you do need to actually choose to hydrate yourself, you know, your inner self, your, you need to give to your spiritual uh, well-being your whole well-being basically because it also includes as this card suggests your physical self too so it's naturally going to flow over into you know loving your physical reality receiving your twin flame physically um and yeah so it's safe to want that you know um it's nice to feel good on the inside but uh, we also want the results at least, um, at least I do, and that goes for other areas of life too. So, the Divine Feminine's card is upside down. <laughs> so, extra emphasis on listening for the Divine Feminine. And this could be a clearing of your throat chakra. Sometimes your throat chakra clearing also involves going deeper with listening, just like giving and receiving love is associated you know with with everything but especially with the heart chakra well listening and um speaking you know are both uh two sides of the coin of communication and so it's a time to go deeper with listening and that means listening to your high self within you know listening to the divine listening to what's around you you know are your animals or kids like trying to tell you something where you're just hearing kind of the surface level of meow or I'm hungry, mom, or you know, dad, if, um, you know, kind of thing. Um, what's, uh, what's like the, you know, the, the energy of what's being communicated to you and where is it pointing you to? And I don't know if you've ever noticed, but I certainly have that if I actually like stop trying so hard to listen to the words that someone is uh, communicating to me, and I really just tune in with myself while I'm engaged with a conversation, or if I'm uh, watching like a Twin Flame Ascension School class or watching, you know, something else. Um, I naturally receive on a deeper level, you know, so I may not get every little word, but I get like the communication and then I can engage with that communication. And uh, that's, and that's what people want. That's, you know, that's an actual relationship. So um, yeah, just time to go deeper, I think, with how you're feeling in the whole listening process and I what I'm also picking up on is like listening to your natural world around you too the birds even the sounds in your house if your light makes a little noise sometimes or um, you know electricity whatever you call those kinds of sounds I don't know um just very subtle things and going deeper and like not tune not tuning stuff out but going deeper with what you're actually receiving what you're listening to and um yeah so like being one with your whole reality and this is kind of can be the other side of grounding for the divine masculine and this if you're doing your part as the divine feminine that's helpful to the divine masculine and vice versa for you know developing these qualities and these qualities will naturally like give to your union and the union card for now. Ooh, selenite. I guess my selenite heart is over in another area, um, so I'm not going to go grab it, otherwise I'd probably bring it over, but highly recommend having some selenite uh, in your home if that's, you know, if you like having crystals at all. It's just such a nice energy to have, and it's very beautiful to look at, so I find it inspiring, and I like how this card um, you know, represents it in the word peace and crown chakra, um, you know, that feels really accurate to me. Um, it's very pure. And so when you really only choose to receive and to give 
love and divine wisdom, then you're going to have an easier time receiving more divine wisdom. And to also like allowing your crown chakra to just open and close at, you know, its own, like in its, uh, just letting God move through you, letting the divine move through you, including your crown chakra, because I think sometimes there is a tendency to think it shouldn't be opening so much or like that you should just have it open when you know and trying trying to do it yourself instead of letting energy run through you and this can cause you know pressure and stuff i mean this is spiritual information not medical advice but you know like a headache kind of situation um so like it's just safe to surrender there and surrender your crown chakra to the divine and know that that you know you might like feel more energy flowing to that part of you as you do that and that's actually like a natural thing a natural part of your ascension so it's safe for that process to happen but also be aware of it and be aware if you know it feels in alignment and everything and um, this is going to really give to your union as you go deeper with peace and deeper with wisdom. It helps expand your foundation of peace for you, for you both. But as you feel that and you like claim it within, you know, you, you recognize it. And a part of claiming peace within is surrendering into your own peace, you know, surrendering into the peace that the divine is providing to you. That's very attractive to your twin flame. So... Um, yeah, that's basically going to conclude this reading for today. So it's all about, uh, you know, listening, grounding, and also uh, your high chakras, peace, you know, like receiving peace. And uh, the last thing actually that is coming to me is to also not be afraid of um, upheaval, which is the letting go of any programming ego thought, all that, that no longer serves you, and one way to let that go is sometimes through your crown chakra, so it can, like, leave, um, so just let that happen, if that happens, as you, you, if you're utilizing the mirror exercise, uh, which is a very simple and powerful spiritual tool to clear separation, you may experience this. I know I do, so that's, you know, that's why I'm saying it, because this is how I experience upheaval sometimes. And so, you know, it's just good to know, like, to be more aware of your energy and how things are, like, coming to you and leaving so that it's not something that you're resisting, but that you're um, allowing. But also, like, you know, being in touch with, um, with it and... Yeah, checking in with yourself and like is this feeling in alignment with love and um, then you'll build confidence and more you know surrender because you can feel into you know what is for you in alignment with love and it really does work like this like you are going to attract your twin flame just in going deeper with um, the work that I've mentioned with coaching coaching is a really important component of clearing your upsets because you're going to do so much on your own but then there's going to be places where you just don't see or where you need like space held for you and stuff um and so yeah i just you know i can't encourage you enough to uh go ahead and click the link below and sign up for an intro discovery session or if you're someone watching this and you know you're do you know you're already doing ascension coaching maybe it's a hint to schedule your next session um, and, uh, yeah, receive the benefit, you know, like this world is full of wonderful things. Well, this is the thing that's wonderful and that is necessary for harmonizing your twin flame union. And if you really go deeply into your heart, you may recognize that this is a very like basic desire that you have. And so taking care of it, um, is a more fundamental thing then you might have been giving, you know, like to value it properly, to put it more in the um, center of your desires and not off to the side. And that's how you'll help to attract your twin flame and um, magnetize your union, your twin flame union, um, because that's what you're choosing. You're choosing harmony there with 
like harmonizing with how powerful your desire is. So yeah, um, you know, keep harmonizing and I will catch you later. I'll see you next time and have a beautiful day ahead. Bye.